oh, this thing just went AWOL. Um, I was flying it over here, disappeared for about oh, half an hour. Um, it was only in the air for about a few minutes and it kind of it's come up loads of errors saying compass problems and um, disconnected and then luckily I switched the controller on and off, it connected back up and um, luckily <laughs> it's landed itself. I've come to photograph Wisman's Woods today. It's on the B312 uh, or within about 20 minute walk from it. Um, to find it, it's not too bad. Um, it is about, like I say, half an hour walk, 20 minute walk from the road. Um, there's a, a hotel up here called the Cherry Brook. If you um, just come along this road until you um, find the hotel, depending on which way you're, you're coming from, there is a lay by um, just behind it or in front of it on the road so um, which looks a bit like this there's a gate there and further up there there is a little bit to walk over a kind of um, footpath type indicator thing to get you over the um, actual fence um, yeah so that's how you find it um, it's a really nice day on Dartmoor today actually it's um, quite overcast but there's quite a lot of definition in the clouds um, it's raining on and off as well, so I think I'm going to get some real cool images. It's quite a small woods. I wouldn't really call Wisman's Woods an actual woods. It's more like a copse of trees, um, and they are quite difficult to find. Um, but all you have to do is, if you find this car park, and you go up this gateway, through this bit up here, like I said earlier, which you uh, just about see it there. Um, all you have to do... Is follow kind of this field up here along this wall. Uh, you just about see that um, over the top, and then you'll see a footpath. And then if you head up towards the tour, you can see in the background um, that peak there. Um, what you'll do is you should eventually see the river um, on the left. You, the, the woods is actually right on the river, so you've got to kind of follow the river down. You can go further up, up the hill, and you get to some nice tours which I might do because it's quite nice weather today, so you might be able to get some moody scenes from the tours. Um, but for the minute, I'm going to make my way over to the tour, um, sorry, Westman's Woods, and uh, see what compositions we can get. lied at the beginning when I said it was quite a small copse of woods. Um, last time I only actually had a look at this bit, um, but I've um, <laughs> walked all along it now and it does actually extend all the way down there for a good 10 minute walk. Uh, so yeah, they are pretty big to be honest. Um, I remember when I was in Scotland, I did a vlog up there by on um, the Irish Isle of Harris was by um, the Rodo Marshes and I remember saying then that um, it's a compositional nightmare there because you're kind of stood in a flood kind of plain marshland um, and it's quite hard to find a composition. I think I found something that beats it. Um, 
it is literally just like a maze. Uh, where do you start? Um, it's a very dense forest, or wood, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to have to make my way. And I've come all the way to the left of it because I have been here before about a year ago. Um, and although I wasn't very happy in the images, um, I did start from this end. And I remember I did find a quite a nice few compositions here. So I'm going to have to try and get it logically start here and kind of venture in and um, just try and concentrate on this bit here. I think some of the trees down that way are a bit bigger. So I might venture into them on the way back and just see if I can get something slightly different. Uh, it's a really cool place. I can't remember exactly um, about it. I remember reading it on Wikipedia about a year ago, but um, I know that it's one of four remaining high altitude <laughs> um, oak forests or woodlands on Dartmoor. Originally Dartmoor would have all been forest and it would have been cleared for um, uh, for agriculture, probably like much of England really, or much of the UK or world I suppose. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the remaining kind of copses and the um, the Druids used to worship here so it is very old, I'm not sure how old but I think a lot of these trees are um, getting on to like a thousand years old or, or probably a lot more than that so I'll try and find out and when I'm wrong I'll put it in the bottom of the video so you're correct in it. Um, yeah, the, apparently the reason why they're so small still, even though they're so old, is because it's such a damp climate down here by the river and on all the hills, it's, it's kind of always damp and misty. So uh, you get this thing where you get all this moss growing on them and it kind of stops them breathing properly and getting the light and various things like that. And apparently it just stops them growing quite quickly. So even though they're thousands of years old, they're a bit like a bonsai tree, really. really they never get that high. Yeah, I'll make my way in from this side and uh, see what we can find. Right, I've ditched the stabiliser, the tripod and the camera bag because uh, it's a bit of a nightmare to use it down here anyway, so I'm just going handheld shooting. Um, you might not think so, but I found this really crazy tree. And that there, to me, looks exactly like an evil <laughs> rabbit with horns, so... Um, yeah, a bit of a weird thing to find on a tree, but um, I brought down this lens, which is a 50 millimeter uh, Nikon AIS lens with a Canon adapter. I inherited this lens; it's from the era of a Nikon FE, so it's a film camera. So it's like 1980 something. You can tell it's age. It's got this awesome dust cover that pops up, or say, um, not dust cover. Um, is it called sunshade type thing? I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, cool lens. Um, it is a bit funky on the Canon. The quality is not that great at times, but it does shoot all the way down to f1.4. So um, I'm going to get it on, try and isolate that, and uh, hopefully you'll see what I mean. Um, yeah, there's a few more funky compositions down there. A few more like weird twists and stuff. Uh, at the moment, though, it's much of just wandering around when you're trying to find something. It is a bit of a um, hard place to get compositions from. Uh, these trees up here did look a bit like it might yield something, but I'm not that sure at the moment. So, anyway, I'll get this on. Um, uh, it either does 1.4 or the next one up is f2. So, um, I'll take one at f1.4 and 2 and see which one's the best. But I want to try and isolate the background on that, and this lens should do that quite well. So, right, I wish I could say it was getting easier. Um, I'm starting to get bitten by bugs as well now. Uh, I found this tree here, uh, which isn't exactly an amazing tree considering there's loads of twisted ones around it, but um, I don't know, it's the only one I get to work really. Uh, picture's okay, I think, out of this world. Um, <coughs> and there are some rock formations here which I've kind of zoomed into as well to try and get some kind of detail from that image. Um, yeah, just continue working around really, trying to uh, get some better images. Um, the 50mm prime lens I'd on earlier, uh, the AIS lens, uh, it wasn't blown out the background that much because I was quite close. Um, sorry, I wasn't close enough to the um, the, the evil rabbit to, to get anything decent really. Uh, I'll try and get a picture of it anyway. I'll try and find something which will look good and try and just take a, a picture of f1.4 and um, hopefully that'll kind of show the lens off a bit. 
But yeah, continue on, I suppose. Right, I finally found something I like. Um, it's quite close up shots. So I've had to get the um, wide angle out. So I've been shooting at F14. Um, it's this tree here. Try and turn you around. Ooh. It's really cool because it's so sunk in the ground. There's no actual um, kind of main tree trunk to it. It's about four, well, looks about 10 kind of smaller trunks coming straight out the ground um, yeah quite happy I found it um, I've been a bit of a had a bit of a nightmare up here really I've been wandering around for about two hours two and a half hours and not really found much great I was getting a bit disheartened I luckily I took the drone up um, I really like some of the footage on the drone hopefully that'll come out really nicely so that's kind of saved the day to a, a, a bit anyway um, just walking on the way back, I've come into the middle of the forest now and found this um, tree I've just shown you here. It's very dark now, um, I still don't want to use the tripod, I probably should do, but um, I think I'm going to get away with it. Shooting on a 14mm um, ultra wide angle lens is quite good because, um, because it's got such a wide, um, not depth of field kind of point of view. Um, and it's 14 mil, it's not zoomed in. You can get away of quite a slow shutter speed on them without having any uh, tripod or on it, obviously, or a stabilizer on it. It's not stabilized that lens. So I've done HDRs and I'm shooting all the way down to about um, 14th of a second, which is very slow, but by being very stable, um, the lens should be able to cope with it. Um, like I say, doing HDRs just because it is very dark down here now. Hopefully I'll get quite a natural image from them. Um, I just want to try and make some of the colours pop really because it's quite a, a saturated wet day so yeah quite happy of it um, like I say shooting around f9 f10 I think on the manual lens it's a bit hard to, to kind of guess what it's on because it goes straight from f11 to 8 f8 um, but there are clicks in between it's like a manual um, aperture control lens as well so it's quite an old old design uh, yeah, so like I say, around about f8, um, first image, the lightest one will be about 14th of a second, going all the way up to about 60th or something like that. Um, shooting at an ISO of 500, I think it was, um, because it's quite a dark scene now. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'll put the images up. I'll probably put one or two of the images up from when I was here last year, just because I think there was a bit more leaves on the tree then. It was a bit more around autumn and um, show off the scene a bit. A bit more so yes yeah, um it's a cool place um i think i will come up again in the future but probably not for a while it is a bit of a frustrating place trying to find um photography and um, compositions up here it's probably a really cool place if you just came up and um chilled out up here and walked down to the river and had a picnic or something but um yeah um not all places as you know make great photography locations no matter how um awesome or um beautiful they are so anyway i hope you found this uh, vlog interesting and useful and um, yeah if you want to come up here go for it you probably get better luck than me all right cheers and bye